Here's my friend Jack. He went to a unique math fair jointly organized by all the schools in which he participated in a game called Missing Angles. The game consists of a tunnel made up of blocks in the shape of different quadrilaterals. And he had to cross these blocks by giving right values to the angles. And one wrong answer will rule them out of the game. So Jack entered the first block. He saw one question mark. He had to find the angle made by walls at this corner. Jack wrote there 70 degrees. So what do you think? Did he go to the next block? Or was he out of the game? Confused? Let's have a look. Addition of all the angles of a quadrilateral is always 360 degrees. So I guess he must go to the next block. He entered the second block and this time two angles are missing. Of the missing angles, one angle was double than that of the other. And he had to find both. That's not difficult at all, isn't it? Addition of all the angles are 360 degrees for all the types of quadrilateral. Then what must be the value of M? Well, it comes out to be 70 degrees. And therefore, missing angles are 70 degrees and 140 degrees respectively. A single property had helped him in crossing the two blocks. Are you all curious to know what happened with him in the third block? This time, three angles were missing and the block was in the shape of a parallelogram. Did this extra information help him in finding the missing angles? What's that remind us about the angles when the shape is a parallelogram? Oh yes, opposite angles are equal. So out of the missing three angles, he got one as 115 degrees and then remaining 130 degrees will be divided into halves to give another two angles as 65-65. How easy, no? Had you been in this game, will you be able to solve it? Here is another approach for solving the third block. There is one more relation other than that of opposite angles in a parallelogram that addition of adjacent angles of a parallelogram is 180 degrees. So both the neighboring angles of the angle 115 degrees will become 65. And to complete 360 degrees, the remaining one will be 115. And you can see that opposite angles have come out to be equal. Alright then, let's solve along with Jack. Fourth block. Can you find the missing angles of the fourth block? Here's a hint. It's a trapezium. An isosceles trapezium. Is it easy now? Can you find any relation or property of the angles in a trapezium? Well, Jack knew that the base angles of an isosceles trapezium are equal. So quickly he found the angles in similar way as that of parallelogram. Jack had found the adjacent angles as 108 degrees and 72 degrees for the rest two angles. And I'm sure you are equally excited and enjoying the session. So here's what happened in the fifth block. Here he had to find the angle present within the triangle. Listen carefully to the given information. Block is in the shape of a parallelogram. Ray, MN and LN are the angle bisectors. Jack did it smartly. Here are some pictures. Just see them and tell whether you were also thinking on same lines or not. In the first picture, you can see that it's a parallelogram, so opposite angles will be equal. In the second picture, due to angle bisector, angles will be equally divided. In the third picture, we'll concentrate in triangle only. Total addition of the angles must be 180 degrees. So angle N must be 90 degrees. And in this way, Jack found the angle of the triangle. In the last block, Jack had to solve this question. Angles of a quadrilateral are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5 is to 8. Find the angles. Before attempting to this question, let's understand one thing, which will not only help you for this question, but also the questions asked in the terms of ratio. Generally, 
if one say that his age is 14 and his brother's age is 21. So what will be the addition of their ages? 35, right? And what would be the ratio of their ages? 2 is to 3, correct? Can I write it like this? By taking 7 as common factor? In this similar way, for the above question, we don't know the common factor so that the addition must be 360 degrees. This can also be written as and therefore x comes out to be 20. Now 20 is the common factor. So the angles will be 40 degrees, 60, 100 and 160 degrees. When you add them up you will get 360 degrees. All his answers were correct. The questions were not at all difficult, but it requires some basic knowledge of the shapes, especially quadrilateral. Even if you take some extra time to solve them, it's fine as long as the answers are correct. Before we wind up, here is a question for you, and I'm sure you can easily answer without even thinking for a while. Find the angles P and Q, where PQRS is a kite. Please write your answer in the comment box. If you have any doubt regarding this session or any other session of math, don't hesitate to ask us. Till we meet next time, keep watching, keep learning.